So far in this series, we have covered order books and we have covered markets. We have seen that markets are fundamentally about supply and demand. We've also seen that order books allow us to organize supply and demand. They give us a buy side, they give us a sell side, and they allow us to build markets. They are the building blocks of markets. In order to participate in a market as a trader, we need to be able to interact with the order book. In order to trade, we need a window into the market. We need an interface. This brings us to our next concept, exchanges. Let's suppose that we have a market. This means that we have supply and demand. And somewhere in this market, there are also transactions that are occurring. So as a trader, we're ready to go ahead and trade. But a couple of questions jump right out to us. How do we do it? Where's the order book? How is it maintained? What are even the rules for interacting with the order book? For this, we're going to need an exchange. To focus our discussion, I've tabbed out a couple of resources that can lead us to a definition of an exchange. The first resource source is going to be the Wikipedia page for an exchange. An exchange is an organized market. This is great. This is exactly what we need. If we show up to a market, we know that there's a supply and a demand, and we know that there are transactions, but there's no organization whatsoever. If we have an exchange, we have an organized market. So those pieces, that supply, that demand, and the transactions are going to be organized for us. It's an organized market. So this is still kind of a vague definition. Let's jump over and take a look at the Investopedia a definition which will give us a little bit more detail. The core function of an exchange is to ensure fair and orderly trading, as well as efficient dissemination of price information for any securities trading on that exchange. So this definitely gives us a bit more detail about what exactly is going on with this organization. And these are the items that we've been talking about. These are the items that we need in order to trade. We need an interface to actually interact with the order book, with the supply and the demand. And we need rules that govern that interaction. And then we also need to have that data fed back to us. We need to see what the transactions are within the marketplace. So an exchange allows us to interact with the order book by providing fair and orderly trading. So the fairness implies rules that are going to level the playing field. The orderly trading is implying that order book. They're going to be maintaining, keeping the order book organized so we can interact with it. So we have rules and we have organization around the order book. And then they're also going to be giving us price information though they're going to be telling us the transactions that are happening within the marketplace now this gives us the ability to trade this facilitates trading when a trade occurs what is happening is an exchange between a buyer and a seller hence the name exchanges allow traders to exchange they facilitate trading with this knowledge we're ready to provide our own definition of an exchange an exchange is a market interface that provides services to market participants enabling trading within a market. So with this definition, I want to go ahead and take a look at a couple examples to see if what we find is consistent with this particular definition. A market, when we discussed a market, we were really talking about an abstract concept. A market is really a concept. Now, an order book gives us a little closer to being concrete, but it's still kind of a logical concept. But with an exchange, we're talking about a definite entity. We're talking about, in many cases, a business. Most exchanges operate as businesses. They provide services, they organize the marketplace for traders, and they provide these services to traders as a business. So the first exchange that I want to take a look at is a Bitcoin exchange called GDAX. We're here on the GDAX homepage, and I want to just call it a couple of things that they tell us. GDAX offers institutions and professionals the ability to trade. So with our definition in mind, what they're telling us is that they are the interface. They are allowing institutions and professionals, those are the market participants, the traders the ability to trade. GDAX offers an intuitive interface with real-time order books, charting tools, and trade history. So here GDAX is telling us exactly that they are an interface, but not only that, they're an intuitive interface. They're telling us which kind of interface they are. But more importantly, we can see what they're offering. The first thing is the real-time order books. So they're telling us they're giving us the ability to take a look at and interact with the order books. So those are the building blocks of the market. Those represent the supply and demand. They organize the supply and the demand. The trade history is going to be the actual transactions that are occurring within the marketplace. They're telling us that we know that the trade history represents the transactions in a market, and so we're going to provide that to you as a service. And then the charting tools, that's just another thing, another way 
to say, not only are we going to give you the raw trade history data, we're going to present it to you in a particular way that makes it easy for you to understand what's happening over time. So we define the market as the order books and the transactions. And we know that the way that we've defined an exchange is an interface into a marketplace. And this is exactly what GDAX is telling us. They're telling us they're giving us an interface into the marketplace and they're calling out that they're showing us the order books and the data, the transactions. Now, the next exchange I want to look at, a larger exchange, this is called the Intercontinental Exchange. Now, one of the things I want you to note is at the top, we see ICE. That stands for the Intercontinental Exchange. We also see NYSE. That's the New York Stock Exchange. The reason we see that is because the Intercontinental Exchange owns the New York Stock Exchange. Now, let's see what they tell us about their services. We help our customers seamlessly access global markets and information. So they're giving us access. Here again, the access, what they're referring to is an interface. They're giving us a way to access the market and they're telling us the global markets and the information. So those are the two pieces that I want to keep going back to the global markets. They're referring to the actual supply and demand. When they say information, they're referring to the transactions. Now with many of these exchanges, those are going to be the two core pieces that they're providing to us, but they're also going to have many more services because these businesses are large and they often have upselling. They have many other things that they offer their customers, but the two core pieces that every exchange is going to offer for us it's going to be access to the order book and access to the transactions that are occurring in the marketplace and that's how they organize the market for us they give us an interface to trade the last one i want to take a look at is this page here the trade page on the new york stock exchange website brokers and traders have access so here again they're calling out access they're telling us that they are an interface for us to trade we are able to support all types of trading strategies and fluidly match orders with the best execution so they're giving us the ability Ability to trade they're giving us the ability these trading strategies that's about interacting with the order book fluidly matching orders that's how we're trading they're gonna match the orders for us and they're gonna give us the best execution so those are those rules that were gonna be established for us so that organization that is established for us so we can go ahead and begin interacting in the marketplace buying and selling trading and exchanging I hope this video was helpful please like the video subscribe and support this deep lizard channel thank you